Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you guys five ways to decorate those pesky single tile spaces in your V Rising castle. This video is the fourth in a series of tutorials I put out regarding castle building. If you haven't seen my videos on stair layouts or tile build ideas or narrow passageways, I'll be linking them here and in the description below. All right, now let's get started. All right, so for example number one, we're gonna start off with a chess corner, as I like to call it. Just a little sitting area where you and a friend can play chess. So I'm gonna start off with the foundation. I've kind of decided beforehand, I wanna start with like a kind of a blue uh, theme. Uh, I'm not gonna overdo it on the blue, but I'm definitely going to incorporate it. And I'm going to also try and follow the chess theme a little bit by making the walls white with the pillars being an ebony stone color. So black and white. All right, and uh, let's place down our chessboard. I'm gonna go to decorations, then miscellaneous, and then chess table. I'm gonna rotate it once, make sure that it is correct uh, as far as the way it's facing. And I'm gonna go to garden, garden furniture, rural garden chair. And then I'm going to take two chairs and put them across from each other. Now, something else I'm gonna add here is I'm gonna add a window. I think a nice window might help here. Um, I think I'm gonna go with something like this. And we're gonna redo this wallpaper on this particular wall. There we go. Make sure we keep our theming. For the decorations, I'm going to add some window draperies. Uh, I'm gonna go with like a simple kind of setup. I'm not gonna go too fancy. So we got some blue. Um, maybe I wanna add a painting. So I'll add a painting over here. Uh, maybe the accent on the painting could be brown just to match the uh, wooden aesthetic of the chairs and uh, chess table. And then on this side, uh, on the right hand side, I think I'll add a, uh, maybe a banner actually. So I'm going to go to decorations, wall ornaments, wall hanging displays, and then nightfall wall banner. And I'm just going to use it. I'm going to place it right here. I think I'm also going to add maybe some other little things to just kind of brighten up the space a little bit. Maybe I'll add a long case clock i'm going to use the omen long case clock i'm going to stick it over here a little bit off center and i'm also going to place a uh, circa round bookcase here especially since this area is more for like recreational stuff i think that this kind of fits really well and because i've off centered both the bookcase and the clock i'm going to also add some lighting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to candle stands. Let's go with the cordial candelabra and I'm going to maybe place a couple of them. So we're going to have them all centered. So this one's going to be directly centered. And so is this one. And the room is a little bit blue, but I think that uh, it fits really well. And I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Yeah, so this little uh, area here is already pretty nicely uh, lit and pr pretty nicely made. So I think that uh, this would definitely look really good inside a castle. So let's uh, finish that off. I'm just going to move on to example number two. So for this example, I'm going to also use a window. And I'm also going to use a different kind of window. I'm going to go with the Gothic clear windows uh, with the kind of like the blocky square like glass, which I really like. And for the walls, we're going to use a fancy wallpaper. Uh, let's go with this one. And I'm going to use this on that side. I'm also going to decorate using a uh, maybe a sofa. I think a sofa would be great here. I'm going to use a distinguished divan and let's go with pink as our main color. For the flooring, I'm going to change it to maybe something that is a little bit warmer in color. So I'm going to go for some library flooring. I'm going to go with the discernment parquet flooring. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. <laughs> um, 
Actually, I think this wallpaper is incorrect. Yeah, I chose the wrong uh, color. That was my fault. Sorry about that. Actually, I'm gonna put down a carpet so we can have maybe something like this uh, be a smaller round carpet here. You can just make it pink, put it in the very center of this tile, like so. And I could add some decorations. So maybe I'll add some lighting. I'll have maybe an uh, ardent candelabra. We're gonna make the color pink. I'm gonna move it over one. I'm gonna go into decorations and also add some wall ornaments. So maybe castle window draperies and I'm gonna use the cordial window draperies here. It's gonna be really nice, very, very fancy. Um, I could also go with something like this if I really wanted to, something a little bit more uh, elegant, which is fine. Um, I think I actually am gonna keep this, so let's go with that window for now. Uh, I'm gonna put a bookcase up here, because remember this is like a, a little reading nook, so this is a, a, a book nook, as I like to call it. And we're also going to add maybe some furniture so i'm gonna go to decoration furniture miscellaneous and then grab uh two circa round bookcases i'm gonna put one on each corner what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a mushroom terrarium i think that'll probably lighten up the room a little bit more so i'm gonna go to decorations furniture miscellaneous and then scroll over to luminescent mushroom terrarium and then we're gonna place it in here it looks really really cool underneath that bookshelf and it all just kind of cohesively comes together so i'm really happy with how this turned out we're gonna add a painting just for a little extra pizzazz in the room a little bit of extra life and now we can sit down and enjoy and if i zoom in here you'd have no idea that this is just a one tile room um but yeah this uh for example number two this little book nook i think is uh perfect for any um castle that maybe you want to feel a little bit more homey. Next, I'm going to move on to example number three. And for example number three, I'm going to take a wall here. We're going to close this off. I'm going to take a new wallpaper. I think I'll use um, the stately stone wallpaper. I really like this one a lot. Very classy. Um, and you know what? I think I'll also choose a flooring. Let's go with the uh, burgundy floor carpet. I really like this one a lot. And let's make a makeup room. So for this makeup room, I'm going to uh, add some decorations first. We're going to go to decoration, furniture, smaller tables, and then I'm going to go with the omen dressing table. I've actually done uh, makeup rooms before in the past. Uh, I'm actually currently working on some in a uh, current build for my members only stream. So if you haven't seen that, you're maybe interested in that, feel free to uh, join. You can do that below. We'll add maybe an omen chair. Uh, I'm going to go with black as my main color, maybe. Just kind of looking at it, seeing if this is appropriate. I think this is fine. Uh, let's add some lighting in here. So for the lighting, I'm going to use the elegant candelabras, but I'm going to use a white light because this is a makeup room. So we want the best lighting possible for the best uh, makeup application. Then we're going to go to uh, decorations, wall ornaments, and we're going to pick the nightfall wall plaque. And I'm going to place it up here. I'm going to go with the red version. I think the red version is just fine. It fits the walls really nice. Looks really fancy and elegant. And I think I'm also going to choose maybe a mirror here. I'm going to add a, a hanging wall mirror here just to add a little bit more pizzazz. Maybe, maybe a little bit more gold accents to go along with this thing. And then I'm also going to add a Let's see, we're gonna go with a cordial wall drapery, but I'm gonna go with a black one. There we go. So now we're offsetting the colors. Maybe something to kind of brighten up the floor a little bit. So I'm gonna go to decoration, carpets. Well, actually I shouldn't even say brighten up because that's not really the goal here. I'm not gonna brighten it up. I'm actually gonna make it darker because I'm gonna use black. And we're gonna do like a kind of like a red and black contrast here. Now I aligned it 
with uh, the door. I brought it up here and now this chair is nice and snug. I'm gonna add some vases maybe. I think one vase might be okay here um, so as not to kind of overwhelm the space, but the back of this room seems kind of empty. So I think maybe adding a vase or two won't hurt. I'm gonna add two black vases. So we're gonna have one here and we're gonna have another one here. And I'm gonna choose, actually from here, I'm gonna go with the Dracaena, or I think it's pronounced Dracaena Kedarneth Kedar plant. Okay, sorry I butchered that. <laughs> We're gonna add that thing. It's kind of spiky looking with red tips and because, well, you know, the room is kind of those colors, I think it fits. So yeah, we have another side mirror here. We got all the stuff we need. Uh, we have really good lighting in the back. And yeah, so that is our third example. For the next two examples, I'm going to be doing some outdoor stuff. So for this first one, I'm going to show you guys what to do with maybe like a garden statue. So I'm gonna go to decoration statues and then I'm gonna scroll over to the ancient Symphony angelic statue. I really, really like this one a lot. So I'm gonna put this right over here. I'm gonna put it smack dab in the middle. Then I'm going to go to garden hedges and choose a hedge two by 10 low hedge. And we're gonna do a little bit of adjusting here to see if we can get exactly what we want. Uh, I don't wanna go outside of the square, but the cool thing about these square with these hedges is you can actually put them a half square off. So they're actually bleeding off the property, which is kind of cool. And you know, honestly, that's kind of nice considering trees tend to do that all the time for some reason. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna change the uh, color of these bushes because I want them to kind of reflect a darker color because you know, this is a wintry area. So I'm not trying to make it look all weird. And I'm going to put down some plants. So I'm going to go to production, growing plot, then exterior growing plot. We're going to choose a single uh, small one. And I'm going to start pathing around. So now that we've uh, basically figured that out, I can maybe plant some snowflowers so i'm gonna choose some snowflowers to grow here i've done something similar to this in the church of luminance castle which i also have posted on the channel so if you haven't seen that yet i'm just gonna link it here so feel free to check that out afterward let's add maybe the small low round columns with spheres we're gonna choose maybe a different color so maybe we want to go with like an autumn color just to kind of stand out against the normal bushes and uh, we're gonna speed up time to get the plants to grow. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so now it's all grown in and we have some cute little snow flowers growing here. You could use pretty much any flower you want in this situation, uh, but I just went with those. Last but not least, example number five, we're going to work on a castle teleporter. So for the castle teleporter, I'm actually going to add some fencing. So this is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go with a, uh, let's go with a rural garden gate and I'm gonna go with the brown one, but we're not gonna close the front part here because we're going to assume that this is connected to some other stuff, right? I'm also going to add some shrubbery. First, I'm gonna go to garden, then I'm gonna go to garden planters, and then I'm gonna choose wide trellis core. And I'm gonna go with the brown one because I went with the brown fencing, so I think that's only fair. And I'm just gonna put one here, one here, and one here, we're just gonna surround the teleporter and I'm gonna put up some blood rose uh, decorations here, some foliage, one might say. I'm gonna go with the lighting and we're gonna put up some lamp posts. We're gonna put a couple of them. We're gonna put a couple of outdoor lamp posts. I'm gonna have um, these two out here overseeing or overlooking the teleport pad uh this pad actually doesn't look too good that yellow actually looks terrible there we go the red one looks a lot better all right so next i'm gonna add a couple of planters i'm gonna go to garden garden planters and then planters core 
And we're gonna choose some planters here. I could go with something really tall or I can go with something really small. I'm gonna go with something a little bit lower to the ground. So we're gonna pick these and I'm gonna fill them up. Let's fill them up with these spiral bushes. They look pretty cool. And I'm gonna make sure that the color matches what I want. If I go to production and growing plots and small growing plots, I could add a couple of growing plots underneath here and we can get maybe some blood rose seeds growing out of the bottom of these. I love to glitch these underneath because then when the blood roses grow in, they look really nice. So I'm going to give myself a blood rose seed. And uh, let's place it. So I'm going to place six of them. One last thing I might do, if I really like this a lot, I might maybe add two more here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to speed up time to allow these flowers to grow. So let's do that real quick. All right, so now we've got our roses all grown in and they look fabulous. So this is kind of like a, uh, a, a rose cluster but around a red teleporter it actually looks pretty nice so i think you know you have a lot of different options as far as things you can do with your builds um maybe i would consider maybe even going all the way around with the flowers if you really want to but this is just like a simple thing you can do if you want to add like a little teleporter if you have like a a one square nook in your outside garden so this could be like an example of something you could do so what do you think of these examples have you used any of them before do you plan to use any of these examples for your own castles what other videos should i make i read every comment so make sure to let me know in case you don't know, my name is Sholo Q. I'm a Sholo Eats Quaintly, Reaper, and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week on Twitch, Kick, and YouTube, and usually stream V Rising on Wednesdays. I post my schedule every Sunday on Twitter, my fandom Discord, and the YouTube community tab, so make sure to check it out. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more V Rising content. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, Sholo out.